Hey guys, it's Joseph here with Down to Ben Financial Group. And on today's segment of Money Motivation Monday, I want to talk to the parents, okay? Specifically mothers. You know, you're, you're the one stuck at home. You're the cook and you're the teacher. So we want to command you. I want to command you and say God bless you for all that you do. So that leads us to today's topic. On Money Motivation Monday, today's topic, we're talking about 529 plan which happens to be one of the popular options when a parent wants to save for your kid's education. So first, what is a 529 plan? A 529 plan is a, a tax advantage financial vehicle that encourage saving for future education. So if a parent wants to save for your kid's education, this is one of those options. Very popular one to be exact. So before we even move to the next question, now that we know what it is, um, key things to know that if you've watched my video on the uh, three buckets, so I talk about tax now, tax later, tax advantage, right? The, those three buckets. The last bucket, which is the tax advantage, 529 plan happens to be there, which means money that goes in, you've already paid taxes on. So whatever happens afterwards, as long as you abide by the rules, you won't pay any taxes on those. So that's 529 plan. I understand that. So this only applies, the tax benefits only applies if these funds are being used for education. So remember that. Um, how can it be structured is number two, right? I think most people uh, think that a 529 plan is a variable product. And the answer is no. Just like any financial product out there, where the 401k IRA doesn't matter. You have, you can do asset allocation. You can do your risk tolerance so, right so if you're someone that quite frankly can deal with the market which isn't popular in this case but you do have that option you could do something that's you know fixed which means every single year you have money in a 529 plan and you you know they just apply a fixed interest you're, it's not going to be something that you like <laughs> because it's usually fighting against inflation uh, or barely beating inflation. So understand that, but you do have that option. Now, the other option is the variable option, which means it's in the market. Market goes up, you, you know, you participate, it goes down, you participate. So just understand that you have those options. And then three, what happens if your kids don't use this fund? Let's say you have a next Einstein and quite frankly, they don't need the money because they have scholarships coming everywhere, right? Your first option is you could you know, pass this on to your second child or third one, you know, or family member. So that is one option. Now, and the other option is taking the money, but you will suffer that 10% penalty plus taxes. And if you are in California, you suffer additional 2.5%. All right. So that leads us to um, the last question, how to properly use this vehicle based on who owns it. So I'm going to start with uh, the grandparents, right? Because some grandparents want to save for the, their uh, grandkids' education. So for grandparents, it's very crucial to understand how to uh, how to use these funds to pay for college. Because if you don't use it right in the right way, you may actually it may affect the kid. So an example would be, let's say I'm in I'm in high school. I get out my first year. I use my grandparents' 529 plan. The following year, this would actually hurt me because it will count 50% as my income, which doesn't help me when I fill out that FAFSA form. Um, so that's one, right? So in this case, it would actually be more beneficial to use a parent in the beginning when I'm going to college because it only counts, only 5% counts towards the EFC, um, expected family contribution in other words when they do their FAFSA and their calculations to find out what mom and dad has assets wise and all that stuff. So understanding that, right? Now, when is it appropriate for um, the grandparents to use it is when the kid is at their senior year, your last year in college, right? Because after that year, they're done. In this case, using grandma's 529 parent works perfectly because who cares the next year? So that's, it works out then. But using it in the beginning doesn't work. You have to use the parents. So I just wanted to point that out, you know, understanding that who owns the 529 plan 
plays a huge role in the student's uh, educational journey, for lack of better words. So I hope you guys like this video. I uh, hope you guys find it educational. Uh, like it, share with your friends and family, and subscribe to get more information from me. All right, so I'll talk to you guys Monday Motivation Monday.